Hello everybody. Today we are going to work on building our vocabulary with a fun little book here called Search and Find. And we're not going to be concerned today about learning to read or write because first we have to make sure that we have a nice strong vocabulary. So we're just going to look at the pictures and know what the things we're looking at are called. Because the better our vocabulary, the more prepared we are when we learn to read and write. So what do we have here? Ice cream. This is an ice cream. Where is the ice cream? Where's the ice cream? It's up here. There's the ice cream. How about cake? Where's the cake? There's the cake. How about cookie? Chocolate chip cookie. Where is the chocolate chip cookie? There it is. Chocolate chip cookie. How about cupcake? Where's a cupcake? I see a cupcake right there. There's also a cupcake up here on the shelf. How about candy jar? Where is the candy jar? Hmm, I see it up here on the shelf. There's the candy jar. There's another one over here. Two candy jars. How about a bag of candy? Where is there a bag of candy? She's holding a bag, but I don't see any candy in it. He's holding a bag of candy. All right, what else do we have here? Ooh, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, I love dinosaurs. We have a square dancing dinosaur. Where's the square dancing dinosaur? There he is. Square dancing dinosaur. I didn't know dinosaurs could square dance. How about a pterodactyl? Pterodactyl. They're flying dinosaurs. I see him way up here in the sky. How about a speaker? A speaker that plays music so they can all dance. There's the speaker. What's next? Tango dancers? A pink and purple tango dancing dinosaur pair. There they are. Tango dancing dinosaurs. One's pink and one's purple. Party dancer. There's a party dancer. He's yellow. A yellow dinosaur who's dancing at a party. Tap dancer. Tap dancer. There he is, way up here. It's a tap dancing dinosaur with a top hat and a cane. Oh, under the sea. We got sea creatures. This is a lobster. Where is the lobster? Where is he at? There he is. Lobster. What do we have next? A seahorse? Seahorse. Where's a seahorse at? Where is the seahorse? There he is. There's two seahorses. Two pink seahorses. What do we have next? We're looking for a puffer fish. Puffer fish. They blow up like balloons. There he is, puffer fish. He looks like he's holding his breath because he's blowing up like a balloon. Puffer fish. Next is hermit crab. 
Where is the hermit crab? Hermit crab. I see him. There he is. Hermit crab. They had in their shells. What's next? A sea turtle. Where is the sea turtle? I see him right there. Sea turtle. How about the starfish? It's a pink starfish. That's what color he is, pink. Starfish, where is he at? Where's the starfish? There he is. He's holding a map. Starfish looks happy. Starfish. How about octopus? Let's find the octopus next. Where is he? Where is he? <gasps> there he is. A red octopus. He looks happy too, doesn't he? What's next? A dolphin. Dolphin. Where's the dolphin? Where is he? Where is he? I <gasps> uh, see him. There's the dolphin. There's the dolphin. What else? Eel. Eel. Eels kind of look like a snake, but they're not. They got long bodies. Eel. Where is the eel? Where? Oh, there he is. Eel. Jellyfish. This is a pink jellyfish with yellow tentacles. Jellyfish. Where is the jellyfish? I see him. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Stingray. Stingray. Where's the stingray? Anybody see the stingray? Oh, I see him. There he is. Stingray. How about the shark? Shark. Where's the shark? Anybody see the shark? Oh, there he is. He kind of blends in with the blue background there. Shark. Shark. Now we've got a space mission. Space mission. There's a rocket. All right. So let's find the reporter. A reporter is somebody from the news or the newspaper who writes stories about things. But he looks like a monkey. So you've got a monkey dressed up like a reporter. Where is he in this picture? Where is the monkey dressed up like a reporter? Oh, there he is. There's the monkey dressed up like a reporter. What's next? Planet. Planet. The planets are up in outer space. You can see them at night if you have a telescope. I see it. There's the planet. How about the dog? Where's a dog looking through a window? A round circular window. I see him. He's looking out the window with a rocket. You think they're going to shoot that dog to the moon? He looks happy about it. Ice cream cone. Where's an ice cream cone? Oh, turtle. Turtle's holding an ice cream cone. Astronaut. This dinosaur is dressed up like an astronaut. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Dinosaur dressed up like an astronaut. What's next? Moon. We had to find the moon. 
moon. Where is the... <gasps> there it is. Moon. Alright, that's all that side. Aliens next. Alien. An alien is a creature from another planet. It doesn't live on Earth. This alien is green. And he's wearing a t-shirt. Drinking a drink. Where is he on our page? An alien. Ah, there he is. An alien drinking a drink out of a straw. Next is Comet. Comet. A comet shoots through the sky and you would need, well, you don't always need a telescope to see a comet. You can see Halley's Comet with your eyes. Comet. It shoots through the sky, kind of like a shooting star, but it's not a star, it's a comet. Because it'll keep coming back and back. Remote control. Remote control. That's what you use to change the channel on your TV or the volume. Where's our remote control? Who has it? Who has the remote? <gasps> the owl has it. He's using the remote control to work the TV screen. <coughs> and our last one is computer computer. Where is the computer? The owl is sitting next to the computer. He's working the computer and looking at the map on the TV screen. Now we're on a farm. Farm. First we're looking for the chicken. Chicken. Where's the chicken? Chicken, chicken, chicken. Where? Oh, I see him. Chicken. That's chicken too. So there's two chickens. One chicken, two chicken. And they're both eating. What's next? A donkey. A donkey. Where is the donkey? There he is. He sure is smiling with some big old teeth. He's got a lot of teeth. Donkey. Goose. Goose. Where is the goose? Where is the goose? He's right there. Way back in the background is a goose. Goose. How about the cow? Cow. Where is the cow? Where? Oh, there's the cow. The cow's got a bell around his neck. Cow. What do cows say? Moo. There's a rooster. Where is the rooster in the picture? Rooster. 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 Where is he? Oh, I see him way back in the back. Up on the fence is the rooster. He's crowing at the sun saying cock-a-doodle-doo. A rooster is a boy version of a chicken. Chickens are girls. Turkey. Turkey. I've never seen a blue turkey before, but this turkey is blue, and I see him way back in the back. Turkey. Turkeys go gobble, gobble, gobble. Now we're looking for a pig. Pig. Where is the pig? Pig, 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 pig. There, there's three of them. One, two, three pigs playing in the mud. This one's eaten at a trough. Goat. Goat. Where's the goat? Goat, goat, goat. Where is the goat? Goat, goat. There he is. Goat. 
goat. Goats go bah or meh. Horse. Where's the horse? Let's find the horse. Where is the horse? Horse, horse, horse. There he is. Horse. How about the cat? Where is the cat? Where is the cat? Ah, uh, there's the cat licking up milk that got spilt on the ground. Cat. Cat say meow. Cat. Sheep. Where's the sheep? Sheep, sheep, sheep. There's the sheep. Did you know that sheep could be one sheep or multiple sheep? You don't say sheeps like you've got a lot of sheeps. You can have one sheep or ten sheep. That's all said the same. Sheep. Dog. Where's the dog? I see him. You ever seen a dog wearing a hat? And it looks like he's carrying some uh, a can of milk. He's a cute dog and he's wearing a straw hat. Well, that's all for the farm. Where are we going to now? Neighborhood, friends. This is a neighborhood. Looks like a city. Babysitter. Babysitter. Have you ever had anybody babysit you? These, this babysitter is a cat. Looks like she's babysitting a baby cat. Babysitter. Takes care of babies. Where is she at though? Oh, uh, I see her. Babysitter. Who's next? A mailman. Mailman. All these people have jobs. Well, they're not really people. They're animals. But they all have jobs. You have a babysitter and a mailman. The mailman is a rhinoceros. Where is the rhinoceros mailman? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Purple rhinoceros, dressed as a mailman, carrying the mail to deliver his packages. A lobster hairdresser. Can you imagine letting a lobster fix your hair? That would be interesting. Where? Oh. Lobster hairdresser. Okay, let's see who's next. The garbage man. A hippopotamus is the garbage man. So he takes off your trash. Where is he at? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Garbage man. A hippopotamus? That's a garbage man. He's carrying a garbage, a trash can. Next is a newspaper delivery boy who's a turtle riding a bicycle and throwing out newspapers. Turtle newspaper boy. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Turtle newspaper boy riding a bicycle, throwing out newspapers. Barber. A barber is a person who cuts your hair. Kind of like the hairdresser, but she fixes hair. This one cuts hair. And he's a dog, so we need to find the dog barber. Dog barber. There he is. A dog barber. He's actually getting ready to shave the goat. So he cuts hair and he cuts people's beards. Crossing guard. You see policemen uh, who are crossing guards. They tell you when to stop and go at traffic signs. Crossing guard. Where is he at? 
Oh, I see him. He's got a whistle in his mouth telling people to stop. Crossing guard. And he wears his orange vest so that cars see him and he doesn't get run over because he's standing in the middle of the road, which could be dangerous. Mayor. Mayor. This pig is a mayor. And he's given a speech at a podium with microphones. The mayor is somebody who runs the town. You elect a mayor. So when you go vote, you get to elect who is your next mayor. Where is he at, though? Where is... Oh, there he is. Mayor Pig. Wearing a blue jacket and a top hat. Mayor Pig. Reporter. Reporter. I thought we already saw a reporter somewhere. He was on another page. And here he is back again to report on the people in this town. But that's the monkey's job. He's a reporter. Librarian. A snake librarian. Would you want a snake to help you find your book in the library? I don't know. Let's see. Libra oh, there we go. Snake librarian. Found a book for the fox. Tailor. A tailor is somebody who makes your clothes. Well, most people buy their clothes from stores, but you can actually have them tailor-made by somebody who will cut and sew material and put it all together so that you'll have an outfit that fits you perfectly. And they're called tailors. This tailor is a duck. Where is... There she is. Tailor duck. She is measuring this cow to make her a new outfit. And our last one is a bank teller. A little yellow bird who's a bank teller. The bank is where people keep their money. They store their money in the bank and then they go see the teller at the bank and they say, I'd like to put another hundred dollars in my account please or I want to pull fifty dollars out of my account and they do that for you. That's a bank teller. And she's giving money to a dog. That's all of the neighborhood. The Middle Ages. The Middle Ages was a long time ago when there were kings and queens that ruled instead of presidents. So this is a castle. So what kind of things were in the Middle Ages? A shield. Knights would have a shield to protect themselves. Shield. Where is there a shield? Oh, see? He's holding a shield because he's a knight. He's got armor on and he's riding a horse and he's holding a shield. Pencil. Pencil. Where is a pencil in all this? Pencil. Hmm. Pencil. Oh, the mouse up in the tower is holding a pencil. He must be writing a poem, maybe? Or maybe he's writing a play. He might be Shakespeare writing his next play. Torch torch. They used to have to use fire and light torches so that they could see because they didn't have electricity and light bulbs back in the Middle Ages. You just had to light the room with fire. Where is a torch? Oh, I see it. Torch. Next is guard. A guard is somebody who guards the castle. Uh, kind of like a policeman, 
but in the Middle Ages they were called guards. Uh, we still have guards today who aren't full-fledged policemen, but they get hired like security guards. They watch over companies to make sure everything's all right. Where is he? Guard. There he is. He's guarding the gate to keep people from getting in. Flag. Flag. Flags you hang up as decoration to represent something. Where is the flag? Oh, there it is, way up on top of the tower. And this represents the king because it's got a crown on it. So that's the king's flag. White horse. Horses come in all kinds of colors, but this one is white. And there it looks like a beaver riding him. White horse. Where is there he is? White horse. Being ridden by a beaver with a helmet. The beaver is purple. Crown. Who's wearing this crown? I bet the king is wearing a crown wherever he's at. Where is that crown at? It's a yellow crown. Mm, oh, no. The king's not wearing that. He's wearing a crown. This is the king. He's wearing a crown, but it's not that crown. That's the crown we're looking for, and it's being worn by the prince, who is a purple dinosaur with a long neck. The prince is the son of a king. Queen. Where is the queen? The queen is the wife of a king. Not always. Sometimes a queen rules by herself like Queen Elizabeth did. But usually there's both a king and a queen. Hmm. Oh, there she is. A green stork queen. She's wearing a little crown too. Ham. Ham is pig meat. Ham. Where do we see ham? Oh, the turtle's got ham. He's holding a ham on a plate. Arrow. Where is the arrow? Where? Oh, he's holding the arrow. He's got a bow in this hand and an arrow in this hand, so he can shoot with his bow and arrow. Necklace. Necklace. This is a pearl necklace. Who do you think is wearing a pearl necklace? Hmm. There she is. The princess is wearing a pearl necklace. She's a rhinoceros. Or... No, she's not. She's a dinosaur. The last one is a jester. Jester. Jesters worked in the king's courts to entertain people. So they would dress up funny and they would do stunts and tricks and make jokes and entertain everybody. Jester. Where are we at now? The park. The day at the park. First we have a boat. A boat. This is a man for a change. He's not an animal. We've got a man in a boat. Where is he at? He's probably on the water. Yep, there he is. Man in a boat. And he's paddling in the water. Banana. Where is a banana? Probably out here somewhere. Hmm. It's hanging in a tree. Why is there a banana hanging in a tree? That's strange. 
That's a strange place to find a banana, unless it's in a banana tree, and that is not a banana tree. Butterfly. Butterfly. Where's the butterfly? Can we see it? Hmm. Where is the butterfly? I don't see a butterfly. Must be hiding good. Do you see a butterfly? Oh, I see it. Right there. Butterfly. Right next to the man in the boat. Next is a monkey. Monkey. Where's a monkey? Oh, he's up in the tree with a banana. Of course, because... Uh, monkeys like bananas, so why wouldn't he be in a tree with a banana? Carrot. Where's a carrot? Carrot. Do you see a carrot? Oh, yep. The girl is holding a carrot. Next is horse. Horse. Where's a horse? This one, this horse is brown. Brown horse. The other horse we looked for was white. But this horse is brown. Bee. Bee. Like a bumblebee. Yellow and black striped bee. Bees sting. This bee doesn't look happy though because he's being, he's smelling the stink from the skunk. Not a happy bee. I wouldn't be happy either. Frog. Where's the frog? Frog. There he is. Frog. He's jumping from rock to rock. Frog. Duck. Where's the duck? There he is. Duck floating in the water. Little yellow duck. Ducks go quack, quack. Skunk. Oh, we already found the skunk. He's over here because he's stinking up the poor bee. Skunk. Kite. Kite. Where is the kite? There it is. The little boy is flying a kite in the sky. It's a yellow kite with a red tail. And our last thing is a helicopter. Helicopter. I see it right behind the horse is a helicopter flying in the sky. And there's a man driving it or flying it. Helicopter. That's all of our day at the park. Kings of the Plains. So this looks like Africa, out in the desert area. We have an, our plains picture. Antelope, antelope. It's kind of like a deer, but it has kind of twisty horns, and they're called antelope. Where is the antelope? Antelope. Oh, there he is, drinking water. Antelope. Is he drinking water out of a straw? That's silly. Antelope. See, he's got twisty horns. Grasshopper. Grasshopper. It's a little bug. Oh, there he is. Grasshopper. Little green bug that likes to live in the grass and hops. Hippopotamus. This hippopotamus is pink. They are not really pink in real life, but this hippopotamus is pink. The happy hippo. Hippo is short for hippopotamus. Ostrich. 
ostrich. Ostrich is a really big bird that lays really big eggs and they run fast. Ostrich. Ostrich. Oh, there he is. Ostrich. Giraffe. Giraffes are spotted and yellow with a really long neck so that they can eat the leaves out of the trees because the trees in Africa are really tall and they have to have a long neck to reach them. But where is this giraffe? Where? Oh, there he is. Giraffe. Next is a buffalo. Buffalo. Buffalo are kind of like cows. They got really, really long horns. They're shaped kind of funny. Buffalo. Where is... There he is. Buffalo eating grass. See his horns? They're really big. What else? Elephant. Elephant. This elephant is blue. Elephants are not normally blue. This elephant is also really, really round. Elephants are big, but they aren't usually perfect circles like that. That's kind of silly. He does have tusks, though, so this is a boy elephant. Elephant. Blue elephant spouting out water. Actually, I think... Uh, I think girl elephants might have tusks too. I'm not sure about that. Cheetah is next. Cheetah is a, sp a big spotted cat that runs really, really fast. Cheetah. Cheetah. Where is... Oh, he's hiding right here. Cheetah. Hiding in the grass. Cheetah. Baboon. A baboon. Where is a baboon? They've got colorful faces and and hind parts. Baboon. He's got a cup to he looks like he's gonna catch the water that the elephant is spraying out. Baboon. Baboon. Lion. Where is the lion? There, there's a lion. That's the daddy lion and that's the baby lion. Daddy lions have this big mane, this big hairy mane. Girl lions do not have a big hairy mane. Zebra, zebra. It's kind of like a horse, but it's got it's white and black stripes. There's the zebra. And last is the hyena. Hyena. Hyena's kind of like a dog, but not really. They make a laughing sound, a really high-pitched laughing sound. And they can be dangerous. They're predators, just like, just like a lion is a predator. Hyena. Hyena. City lights. Oh, these are jobs again, but we already saw bank teller. Bank teller and police officer who looks like he's doing a crossing, jo a crossing guard's job with a stop sign. We already looked at all that. Let's see. We haven't found a shopping cart, though. We'll find the shopping cart and the stop sign. Where is the shopping cart? Well, there, well, there's the stop sign. Stop sign. There's the crossing. Well, he's. they're calling him a police officer here. They called him a crossing guard before, but he's, he's both. He's a police officer who is acting as a crossing guard. But where is the shopping cart? Oh, I see it. The bunny rabbit has a shopping cart inside of the shopping grocery store. 
And we've got another librarian here. But this librarian isn't a snake. This librarian is a pink cat. And there she is. Pink cat librarian. Putting the books back on the shelf. And now here's something new. we got a taxi. Taxi cab. Taxi drivers drive taxi cabs and they take people from here to there. So if you just if you're in the city and you see a yellow taxi cab, you can flag it down and say, come over and I'll pay you some money and drive me where I need to go. Bird cage. Bird cage. Where is the bird cage? Hmm. Oh, I see it up here, hanging in the window. It's a bird in a cage, bird cage. Got a fire hydrant and a rain boots. Fire hydrant, that's what you, you hook, if something's on fire, you hook a hose up to it and turn it on and you can spray out the fire with water. Rain boots you wear over your feet so your feet don't get wet when it's raining. So let's find a fire hydrant and rain boots. Fire hydrant and rain boots. Oh, she's wearing the rain boots. Splashing in the puddles. And there's the fire hydrant. Fire hydrant. There's a trash can too. I don't think it's on our list. We've got the turtle on a bicycle before he was delivering newspapers. Now he's just riding his bike, so he must not be on duty right now as a newspaper boy. He's just riding his bike for fun. Trumpet and traffic light. Trumpet and traffic light. Let's see where... There's the traffic light. It's got lights to let you know to stop, slow down, and go. Red means stop, yellow means slow down, and green means go if you're driving a car. But where is the trumpet? Who's got the trumpet? Hmm. Trumpet, trumpet, trumpet. I don't see a trumpet. Oh, he's way up here. Blowing a trumpet out the window. That looks like skunk. A skunk playing a trumpet. That's all of that city. Now we've got some other jobs. Jobs that make people feel better. Like a dentist. A dentist takes care of your teeth. Where's the dentist? Oh, here we go. A dentist is fixing this horse's teeth. And we've got an ambulance driver who drives the ambulance, which is the car that comes to pick you up if you call and say, I'm an emergency, I'm hurt, or I'm sick, and I need you to come pick me up quick and take me to the hospital. Ambulance is the car that you would ride in to go to the hospital. And the ambulance driver drives the ambulance. Nutritionist. This monkey is a nutritionist. A nutritionist just tells you what you should eat to be healthy. Maybe eating too much candy and a nutritionist says, you really shouldn't eat so much candy. You need to eat more vegetables and then you'll be healthy. Where's he at though? Nutritionist. There he is, a monkey holding a green notebook. He's a nutritionist. All right, then we got an x-ray technician. That's a nurse who has you stand in front of an x-ray machine that can take pictures of the inside of your body, right through your skin, so they can see your bones with an x-ray machine picture. Where's she at? Right there she is. X-ray technician. We got a pharmacist. 
the pharmacist is the person you get your medication from. Pharmacist. Where is pharmacist? Oh, there he is up here. The giraffe is a pharmacist handing out medicine. And then we've got a heart doctor who takes care of your heart if there's anything wrong with your heart. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Heart doctor. And a physical therapist right there. Physical therapist is somebody who, if you break a leg and you haven't walked on it in a while, and then your leg heals, but you're not able to use it very well, so the physical therapist will work, get you a workout plan so that you can use your leg again. So it gets you to exercise whatever is hurt so that you can use it again properly. Physical therapist. Physical means I'm physically doing something with my body and therapist is somebody who helps you. So it's somebody who helps you work your body out. Physical therapist. Eye doctor. An eye doctor is somebody who takes care of your eyes to make sure that you can see well. Where's he at though? Eye doctor. Hmm. Ah, oh, doctor. He's hiding. Where? Oh. There's the eye doctor. I think that's a horse. It looks like a purple horse who is an eye doctor. Then you have a therapist. Um, that's somebody who helps you with your emotions. If you're feeling upset about something, then you can sit down and talk to a therapist about it. And they might, hopefully, they'll make you feel better. Therapist. And this polar bear looks like he's upset about something. And he's talking it out with his therapist. A veterinarian. That is an animal doctor. Veterinarian or some people will say vet for short. Vet is short for veterinarian. Right there is a veterinarian. She's a kangaroo. Veterinarian. Foot doctor. A foot doctor is a doctor of your feet. If there's something wrong with your feet, you go to the foot doctor. Hmm. Where is he? A little piggy who is a, there he is, foot doctor. He's fixing this guy's foot. He must have broke it. Nurse is our last one, nurse. The nurse uh, assists the doctor. She'll see you first before you see the doctor. She'll usually take your temperature, maybe draw some blood, uh, weigh you. Look, there she is. She's taking his temperature because he's sick. So you see the nurse and then you see the doctor. That's all the people who make you feel better. What do we have here? Winter sports. Things you do for fun when it's snowing and cold outside. Or things that live in the winter. Like a deer. Here's a deer. Where is the deer? There he is in the woods. The deer in the woods, they have antlers. And this is a snowboard. Snowboard. Where's the snowboard? Oh, there. He's snowboarding on his snowboard. That looks like fun. It's kind of like a skateboard with no wheels. Snow fort. You can build a snow fort when it snows and play inside of it. It's kind of like an igloo, but it's a snow fort and they got a bunch of snowballs out there. Probably gonna have a snowball fight. 
fishing pole. You use a fishing pole to catch fish. And he is ice fishing with his fishing pole. He drilled a hole in the ice and he's fishing in that hole. Periscope. Periscope. A periscope is kind of like uh, binoculars, but it's a single long, kind of like just a single long binocular that you look through so you can see far off distances. Periscope. Beaver. Beaver. Beavers like to build dams and they have that big flat tail that they pat beaver and they have buck teeth and they're really sharp and they use it to chew through wood when they make dams to block off water. Skis. Skis. He is on skis. It's kind of like snowboarding except that you've got two planks of wood to put each one for each foot and you can slide down the snow and have fun with skis. Penguin. The penguin is a cute little black and white animal that looks like a bird but it can't fly. Where is he? Oh I see him. He's hiding under the ice. He popped out from under the ice. A penguin. They also waddle. They don't walk very fast. But they swim fast. Snowshoes. You put snowshoes on your feet when the snow's deep so you don't sink in. Snowshoes. She's wearing snowshoes. Earmuffs. To keep your ears warm. Who's wearing earmuffs? Everybody on this page should be wearing earmuffs. She's wearing earmuffs. Everybody else's ears are open to the air. They're probably cold. Chimney. Chimney is on a house. Here's a house up here with a chimney. And that's where the smoke comes out when you make a fire in the fireplace. The smoke goes up the chimney and out the top. Because if you didn't have a chimney, then the smoke would get in the house and you wouldn't be able to breathe and that wouldn't be good. Sled. Sled. He's riding a sled. Looks like he's having fun. So he's sledding down the snowy hill. He's skiing downhill. He's sledding down the hill. And he's snowboarding down the hill. museum trip. So this is a day at the museum. You ever been to a museum? I have. They're a lot of fun. You should get your parents to take you to a museum. You see all kinds of interesting things and you can learn all kinds of things in a museum. Camera. Camera is what you use to take pictures with. Camera. Oh. He's holding the camera because he's taking pictures of the interesting things in the museum. Map. He's holding a map so he can find his way around the museum. Where is he at? Oh, there he is. It's a dog with a map. Picture. Oh, picture frame and crayon box. Let's look for both. Picture frame and a crayon box. Picture frame and a crayon box. There's two picture frames. There's one and there's one, but this is the one we're looking for. Picture frame and he's got a crayon box. He's drawing pictures on a table. Then we've got water fountain. Water fountain. There it is. It was a bird in a water fountain. And a vase, a red vase. Where is it at? Red vase. Oh, it's right there. 
red vase. You got four vase, four vases in the case. A red vase, a green vase, another green vase, and a blue vase. Angel sculpture. You, you could also call it a statue. Here's a statue, but it's not a statue of, a, of an angel. Or a sculpture. You could call it a sculpture or a statue. There's the angel sculpture. Mummy. Mummy. Mummies uh, are in Egypt. Well, it's not in Egypt now because it's been moved and put in the museum. But it originated in Egypt because Egyptians, instead of burying people in graveyards, they built these pyramids and had uh, caves and things and they would mummify uh, the people who'd passed away and wrap them in bandages and put them in these coffins that they called sarcophagus. And they were very fancy, very decorative. And that, uh, and they called them mummies. Mummies. Where, oh, here we go. Mummy. Not mommy, like, what's my mom, but a mummy. Mummy. Tickets. You have to have a ticket to get into the museum. And he's holding the ticket. That's the ticket master. He sells the tickets. Exit sign. Where's the exit? It's probably back here in the back. That's where you get out of the museum. You exit. You leave the museum. And you've got a tour guide who shows you around and tells you all about the different things. And there's the tour guide. He's a giraffe. And he's talking to the students, showing them all the different interesting things and telling them facts about the things in the museum. And then we have a ladder. And there's the monkey standing on a ladder, fixing the picture frame that's crooked on the wall. Fun in rain. That rain bell in the background. So let's look for a magnifying glass. Magnifying glass. Um, you use a magnifying glass to see something closer up. So like, there's the magnifying glass. You can see it closer up. And he's looking at the ladybug. Where the ladybug? with the magnifying glass. Because ladybugs are really small and hard to see, so if you use a magnifying glass, you can see them better. Snails are also really small. Snail. Where is the snail? Where is it? Oh, he's down here in the corner. This snail has a umbrella. How often do you see a snail with an umbrella? I've never seen a snail carrying an umbrella. Squirrel. Squirrels have those cute little fuzzy curly tails and they jump really long distances from trees to tree and they run around playing with each other. They're really funny to watch. Squirrel. There he is. Squirrel in a tree. He looks like he's reaching for this acorn. This girl is holding an acorn. Squirrels do like acorns. Flower pot. Flower pot. Where is... There's a flower pot to grow flowers in. Fly. Fly. You don't want flies in your house. But if you leave food out on the counter, you might end up with flies in your house. And then you have to go get a fly swatter to get rid of them. Fly. Where is... Where's a fly? Oh, 
you about can't see him because he's stuck in the binder here. He's right there. I don't know if you can see him. There he is. Binoculars. That's something that you uh, look through so you can see far off distances. Binoculars. Where are they? Who has the binoculars? Oh, I see him. He has the binoculars. He's out bird watching and he's watching these birds in a bird bath. And the fountain, there's the fountain that the birds are in. And there's a cat. Where's the cat? Where is the cat? Oh, there's the cat. Little girl holding an umbrella, petting a cat. And then you've got a fire hydrant again, which is right here, fire hydrant. And a rainbow, we know where the rainbow is, back here in the back. And a statue, statue, which is right here. Statue of a horse with a bird on its nose. Now we've got a rainforest. This is a jungle. What kind of animals do we have in the jungle? We got a lizard. Lizard. Where's the lizard? There he is. That's the lizard. Green lizard. Then we have a toucan, which is a very colorful bird with a big, big beak. Toucan. Toucan. Where is the toucan? There he is. Toucan. Then we have a fish. A pink fish. Where's the pink fish? Gotta be in the water. There he is. Jumping out of the water. Pink fish. Then a bat. Bats hang upside down when they're in a cave sleeping or this one's in a tree. So they just grab onto something with their feet and they hang upside down until they're ready to go flying. Bat. Bat. Monkey. This monkey is hanging by his tail. He's probably in a tree somewhere. There he is. Monkey hanging by his tail in a tree. Eating a banana. Ant eater. Where's the ant eater? Oh, there he is. Ant eater. He's got a long nose and a skinny long tongue that he uses to eat ants with because they're down in holes and he can stick that tongue down in a hole and eat ants. Butterfly. Where's the butterfly? There's the butterfly. A blue butterfly. Crocodile. Crocodiles in the water, of course. They're not always in water, but you find them in water a lot. Sloth. Sloth is a slow moving animal that likes to hang upside down in trees. Sloth. And they have long fingernails and big eyes. Frog. Frog. This frog is red with a white, I mean, a yellow belly. A yellow bellied tree frog. Snake. Where's the snake? There he is. Red snake with yellow stripes and a yellow nose. Jaguar. Jaguar. Kind of looks like a leopard, but it is a jaguar because it's got spots. Jaguar. Big cat in the jungle with spots. Spots. 
and that looks like that's about all. We got one more here. Perfect beach day. Day at the beach. So we got a crab. Where is the crab? It's right here. Crab. And a hot dog. Where is hot dog? Hot dog. Who's got a hot dog? Do you see a hot dog? Oh, right there. Hippo's got a hot dog. How about the radio? A radio and a raft. Let's look for both of them at the same time. A radio and a raft. A raft you uh, can float on the water in and a radio you listen to music on. Radio and a raft. Well, there's the raft. They're floating on the raft. And there's the radio. Sunglasses. Oh, I see right away. She's wearing sunglasses. Is anybody else wearing sunglasses? He's wearing sunglasses. Or she's wearing sunglasses. He's wearing sunglasses. It's bright outside, so several people are wearing sunglasses. And sunscreen. You gotta wear your sunscreen so you don't get burned. Let's see. Where's the sunscreen? Do you see any sunscreen? Oh, yeah. She's holding sunscreen. Picnic basket. That's where you put your lunch in when you have a picnic. Uh, who has the picnic basket? There it is. Picnic basket. A snail and a football. A snail and a football. Let's see. Where's the snail and where's the football? I see the football. Where's the snail? Snail. Oh, I see him. I see him snail. He's little, but I found him. Sandcastle. You build a sandcastle in the sand for fun. There's the sandcastle. He doesn't look very happy about the sandcastle. Is he afraid it's going to get stepped on maybe by the dinosaur? I don't know. H2O water bottle. H2O is the symbol for water. There's the water bottle. The dog is drinking it. And one left. Green umbrella. Green umbrella. I remember where that is. Green umbrella. People take the umbrellas out on the beach. Not because it's raining, but because it will keep the hot sun off of their face. And maybe they won't get burnt. We've got some more jobs here, like a flight attendant. Flight attendants, they help you on a plane. They bring you food and drink on a plane or just show you where to go and tell you what to do in case of an emergency. There's the flight attendant and there's the pilot. Pilot. There's the pilot. And that's the airplane. And there's a mechanic. The mechanic works on the airplane to make sure it's functioning properly. Do we see a mechanic? I don't see the mechanic. Oh, there he is. He's working on a race car. So he can fix more than just airplanes. He can fix any kind of thing that has... Uh, mechanisms in it. 
Then we've got a truck driver. Truck driver. Where is the truck driver? Hmm. Oh, he's way back here in the back. He's easy to miss. Truck driver. He drives a big truck. He delivers things long distances across the country. This skunk is a race car driver. There's the race car driving skunk. And there must be something wrong with his race car because the hippopotamus mechanic is fixing it. And then you've got a bus driver. That looks like a school bus. A yellow school bus. And there's the school bus. The bus driver and the students, they're all wearing their seat belts to be safe. Taxi driver. We saw a taxi driver in the city. And now there's one here too. Right there. Taxi driver. And you've got a train conductor. Somebody who drives the train. Where do we see a train? Right there he is. Train conductor driving the train. And then we've got an astronaut. An astronaut flies in the rocket ship up into outer space. There's the astronaut on the platform getting ready to go inside the rocket. Helicopter pilot is somebody who flies a helicopter right there. Helicopter pilot. Motorcyclist. Motorcyclist is someone who drives a motorcycle. Where is the motorcyclist? He is right. There he is. Motorcyclist. And one left. Ship captain. Somebody who drives a ship. And you would expect a ship to be in the water, which is down at the bottom of the page. There he is. What is he? He's an octopus who's driving a ship. He is a ship captain. Fly like an eagle. So these are all things that fly. Fly like a pigeon. A pigeon. These are all kinds of birds. And they all are flying birds. Not like a penguin who can't fly. Pigeon. Where is pigeon? Right there's a pigeon, purple pigeon. And then you've got a cardinal. Cardinals are red. Where is the red cardinal? Right there. He's looking through a telescope. And you've got a bluebird. Bluebird is right there. Bluebird. And then vulture, vulture, where is a vulture? Vultures, you can see them on the road sometime if something got hit, some animal got hit by a car because they like to eat dead things. They're like the cleaning crew of America. They find dead animals and eat them. Vulture, vulture. Some people are scared of vultures, but they serve a good purpose. Hummingbird. Hummingbird. Hummingbirds are tiny, and they fly so fast that they can actually stay in one place and just flap their wings. And you about can't even see their wings because they're flapping them so fast. And they've got really long, tiny little beaks. Hummingbird. They're called hummingbirds because if you get really close and listen, you'll hear them humming, a humming sound. C 
seagull. Seagulls are usually at the beach or around water. That's why they're called seagulls. They live at the sea, but sometimes you'll see them away from the water because they tend to follow garbage trucks and you'll see them in parking lots. Seagulls. Seagulls. They're always little white birds. Flamingos are pink. They are pink because they like to eat shrimp and the shrimp turn them pink. They're tall and they have long legs and big bills. They're trimmed in a little bit of black. Uh, they tend to like to spend time in water or around water. Flamingo. Dove. Where is a dove? Dove. Right there. Pretty little white birds are doves. Magicians like to use doves in their act sometimes. Doves and white rabbits. Owl. Owls go whoop. They come out at night because they're nocturnal. Nocturnal means that you're active at nighttime and you sleep during the day. Owl. Owl. Where is the owl? Right there. That owl is red. Parrot. Parrot. Where is the parrot? Parrot. There he is. Parrots are known for their ability to speak. If, uh, if you had a parrot for a pet, for one thing, they live like a hundred years. They can live longer than humans. And you can teach them to speak if you practice with them. They can't actually really communicate with you like that, but they can just repeat what you say. Eagle. Eagle is America's national bird. Eagle. They like to make nests way up high on the tops of really tall trees or way up on mountain tops. And they're, they have a really, really big wingspan. They are large birds. Predatory birds. And our last bird is a falcon, which is also a predatory bird, but it's not as big as an eagle. Falcon. Falcons are really fast. Falcon. And that's all of our birds. And we got some more farm animals or other things that are on a farm, like a pail of tomatoes and a pumpkin. So let's find a pail of tomatoes and a pumpkin. Where is a pail of tomatoes? Right there, pail of tomatoes and pumpkins. Pumpkins and carrots right next to them. Uh, let's see, and we can find a red wagon, a basket of eggs, and an apple. Red wagon, eggs, and an apple. A red wagon, a basket of eggs, and apple. Oh, there's a red wagon way up there on the hill. A basket of eggs and an apple. Hmm. Well, there's an apple. She's holding an apple. They grow on apple trees. And a basket of eggs. Oh, he's got a basket of eggs. And let's see. Next is a tractor. Tractor. There's a tractor. Purple tractor driven by a 
red dinosaur wearing a cowboy hat. Speaking of cows, we need to find a cow next. Right there in the barn is the cow. Squirrel and a fence. A squirrel and a fence. Let's see. Well, here's a fence. And there's a squirrel. And then a goat and a haystack. A goat and a haystack. Goat and a haystack. Let's see. Well, here's a haystack, which is just a big stack of hay. And there's the goat. Goat. And the last thing is a rooster. We found a rooster on another page, but here's another rooster. And he's way up on the top of the barn next to the weather vane. Rooster. Rooster. And he's crowing. Now we've got some more winter things. A winter scene with the snow and we got marshmallows and a fire marshmallows and a fire um, well there's a fire and marshmallows are right next to it and we're looking for a snowman there's a snowman and a bird where is a bird? Bird, bird, bird. There's a bird sitting on a branch in the snow. Uh, next, we are looking for a little boy who is making a snow angel. That's when you lay down in the snow and you flap your arms and legs and you make it look like a, an angel impression in the snow when you get up. And a moon. Snow angel on the moon. Moon's in the sky. You know it's got to be in the sky. And snow angel is right there. Up on the hill, he's making a snow angel. Let's find an axe and snowballs and a shovel. An axe you chop wood with, snowballs you have a snowball fight with, and a shovel you shovel the snow with. Let's see. Axe, snowball, shovel. Axe, snowball, shovel. There are snowballs. So now we're looking for an axe and a shovel. Axe and a shovel. Oh, there's an axe. Now we just need to find a shovel. Shovel. Do you see a shovel? Where's the shovel? Way back in the back is a shovel. And then we've got an owl, a cabin, and a fox. Owl, cabin, fox. Owl, cabin, fox. Now I see a fox hiding in a log. So now we want an owl and a cabin. Well, there's the cabin in the background. And there's the owl in the tree. That was good. And we're in a city again. And we've got all different kinds of animals with all different kinds of jobs. Let's just look at them all since we already saw a lot of these. You got a judge who's over a courtroom and there's a lawyer so they're deciding uh, what should happen in a courthouse. 
uh, when somebody does something wrong, they have to go to court and be judged by a judge. And a lawyer tries and helps them uh, not get in trouble. You got a scientist. Uh, scientists do experiments to figure out things. Uh, you've got a soldier. This lion is a soldier in the military. He's getting a medal. And this shark is a sailor, so they're both in the military. You've got a sailor who uh, goes out on a ship, and then a soldier uh, is on land. We got a police officer here, and a father. Here's a father, a son, and a mother. And you've got a firefighter. He puts out fires next to a fire hydrant. And another blue elephant who looks like he's a firefighter too because he's wearing a firefighter's hat. And he's saving a cat from a tree. Then you've got a researcher who is, um, they kind of help scientists. They collect things, uh, information and things that scientists use to figure out answers to questions. Then you've got a scout, like a boy scout or a girl scout. They are uh, kids who do helpful things uh, and they learn things that are useful. A uh, park ranger, he takes care of national parks. And it looks like this park ranger is teaching these two scouts something. Probably how to live outdoors. And then you've got a teacher and a student. A turtle and a rabbit. So we've got the desert again. Let's look here. This is a coyote. Coyote. It's kind of like a dog. Uh, they like to howl. They come out at night. So they are also nocturnal. Which, if you remember, nocturnal means you are active at night and sleep during the day. This is a fox playing a guitar. This is a tortoise. It's also known as a turtle. This is a vulture, which we talked about vultures already. Uh, this is an armadillo. Um, armadillos are creatures who don't have fur. They live in the desert. When they get scared, they roll up in a ball. They have a really thick skin on their backs that protects them from predators. This is a spider. Spiders have eight legs. Some of them are venomous and some of them aren't. This is a road runner. It's kind of like an ostrich, but not as not big like an ostrich. They both live in a desert, but road runners can run really fast. And road runners are it's kind of on the smaller on the smaller side. A scorpion. Scorpions are dangerous because they are poisonous if they have a stinger on the back of this tail. So, and they have little lobster-like claws. So if they sting you, they can poison you. So you don't want to get stung by a scorpion. And this is a rattlesnake, also poisonous. Uh, you do not want to get bit by a rattlesnake. So they've got this little rattle on their tail and they shake it. If you get near them, and it's a warning for them to tell you to stay away. So if you hear a ch -ch 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 -ch, you don't want to go near it because that's poisonous snake, rattlesnake. Lizard. Um, they eat bugs 
there's a lot of different types of lizards. Um, this one is on a cactus, and they do not have fur. They have uh, skin. They tend to be cold-blooded lizard. Uh, rat. That's a funny looking rat. Um, I think that's a the kind of rat that would come from Australia. I think all these animals are Australian animals. Well, some of them are also African animals, but that rat has uh, an interesting shape and it looks like it jumps so that would not be the type of rat you would see around here in America but if you lived out in the desert somewhere then that's a rat from the desert that's a hare a hare is a type of rabbit um, they're really fast and skinnier than your average rabbit And that's a hawk. It's a predatory bird. But if you notice, the, the hare is running a race. That's to show you how fast they are. Um, and if you've ever read the book, The Tortoise and the Hare, there's the tortoise and there's the hare. They're racing each other. Pirates. That's a pirate ship. Pirate ship. There's a parrot. Parrots are uh, known for pets of pirates. Pirates' pets tend to be parrots. And that's the type of bird that can repeat what you say. Seagulls. Those are the birds that live at the sea. Binoculars that you look through uh, for far off distances. Anchor. The anchor on a ship, it, you put it down so that the ship doesn't move. It'll hold the ship in place. Anchor. Dolphin. Uh, this dolphin is purple and they swim in the ocean. They're mammals. Uh, cannon. <clears throat> By the way, different, uh, a mammal is a mammal because they breathe air. They live in the ocean, but they breathe air. They don't have gills, and that's why they're called mammals. They're not the same as fish. Cannons uh, shoot cannonballs. Uh, so if they're on the sea having a war, then they use their cannons. Treasure chest It's where the pirates keep their gold. This pirate has a hook for a hand because he's missing a hand like Captain Hook. Sail. They, used, they used sails on a ship because pirate ships didn't have motors. So the sail would be put up to catch the wind so that the wind would push the ship to wherever it was that they were going. That's a sail. Periscope, uh, kind of like a binocular, but there's only one for one eye, whereas binoculars have two eye holes. Bi means two, binocular. So bi means two looking glasses, binoculars, and the periscope only has one. Oh. Uh, but they both work the same. You can see far off distances up close. There's an island. Islands are completely surrounded by waters on all sides. This is the captain of the ship. He steers the ship and tells everybody what to do. Uh, that's a life preserver. Uh, it's a flotation device that you throw into the water in case somebody's drowning so they can catch on to it and not drown. That's a boat. That's a fish. That's a shark. This is the rudder of the boat. So it's a flap that comes out behind the boat. So when he steers the ship, he turns this wheel, 
this flap moves back and forth and steers the ship. So if he wants to go one way, he'll turn the flap one way. And then if he wants to go the other way, he turns the flap that way. And that's called the rudder. Rudder. That's a starfish. And that's a bird. And these are windows. What else do we have here? We got another beach scene. We got a sailboat in the water. We have a bell. This is actually a buoy. They float out in the water um, so that the boats know where not to go because it's shallow water. So they don't want to run up on land. So the buoys are there to let people know where they can and can't go. This is a surfboard. So people surf on the ocean and the waves with this big long surfboard. Uh, she is eating an ice cream cone and she dropped ice cream on the cat's head. This is a seagull again. Seagull carrying a bucket, a green bucket with a star on the front. This is a sand castle. The boy is building a sand castle. He's got his shovel and his bucket and his hat. That's a ball, a beach ball, and a crab. A girl is wearing a bathing suit, a pink bathing suit, throwing a beach ball at the crab. Here's a purple dolphin jumping out of the water and a fish jumping out of the water. That is a cloud in the sky and the sun, an umbrella to keep the sun off of this girl's head so she doesn't get burnt. She's putting lotion on her body so she doesn't get burnt. She's wearing sunglasses and they are getting ready to eat a watermelon slice. This is a picnic basket, a pail, which is a bucket. It's also called a pail. They're standing on a towel to keep the sand off of them. He is grilling on a grill. He's grilling hot dogs and hamburgers on the grill. This is a lobster. Now we've got some forest friends. Forest friends. We have another owl, purple owl in the tree, a squirrel who looks not very happy because this skunk is stinking up the squirrel's nose. Stinky skunk. Beaver with his flat tail and his teeth, his sharp teeth, and he's carrying a piece of wood because he's getting ready to go take that chewed up wood and build a dam with it. Porcupine. Porcupines are animals with long sharp quills all over their back and that's for their protection. So they can roll up in a ball and stick out their quills and anything who thinks it's going to eat them won't be able to eat them because they would get stabbed by the quills. Porcupine. Frog. Frogs jump and they sit on lily pads in the pond. That's a fox who's fishing and he caught a boot with a fish in it. Snail on a log. There's a snail on a log. And a mouse and a moose. A mouse and a moose. Moose have big, big antlers. They're very big. It's almost sort of, sort of like a deer, but it's really a lot bigger than a deer with bigger antlers. <clears throat> boar. A boar is a type of pig or hog. Um, the furrier 
pigs with the tusks that live, uh, they're usually wild out in the woods, are called boar. Rabbit. Rabbit. Turtle with a bird on his back. And there are more birds sitting in the antlers of the moose. Here's a bear reading a book with a honey pot sitting next to him because they say bears love honey. Here's a deer. This is a girl deer because she's got no antlers. Or it could be a baby boy deer that hasn't grown his antlers yet. Alright, what do we have here? Some more workers. Some more jobs. And this looks like a bunch of construction workers. People who build things and fix things. So we have a landscaper. Let's find him on here. A landscaper works on the land. They'll make your, make your yard look pretty. Maybe you have a a gardener, somebody who gardens. They're also called landscapers because they work the land. And he's holding a shovel. Let's just go down the list here. We've got a roofer. He fixes the roof to make sure there's no leaks. We've got a crane operator. This is a crane. He's picking up big, heavy things with this tall crane. So he works the crane. He's a crane operator. This is the power drill operator. He's got a power drill. A drill is something that drills holes in things, and he's drilling a giant hole in the ground. It's a paint bucket and a painter. So he paints things. An electrician works on the electrical boxes and wires in houses and things so that you have lights and the outlets that you can plug electrical equipment in and make things work. We need electricians to make the electricity work properly. Hard hat is something you wear for safety. He's a construction worker. He builds things. Construction means to build. You use bricks to build. And he's a mason. A mason is a person who knows how to build with bricks. Here's a painter again. He's using the roller to paint with a roller instead of a paintbrush. The plumber fixes the pipes so that the water goes through the pipes and we get water, whether it's in our toilet or our showers or our sink. Um, the plumber makes sure that the water gets where it's supposed to get without leaking all over the floor. Carpenter builds houses. Light bulbs are used to light the room. Drills are used to drill and screws and holes. Builders build things. Uh, dump truck drivers drive dump trucks. Dump trucks are trucks that you fill them up full of stuff like dirt and then they dump it out because they can make this back part lift up and flip over to dump whatever's in it out. That makes it easy. Instead of having to shovel it out, the dump truck dumps it out. <clears throat> Arctic animals live in the Arctic where it's extremely cold. So cold that you're not going to find many people living there. It's just too cold. You've got caribou, which are also known as reindeer. Rabbit, wolf, it's an arctic wolf and an arctic rabbit, wolverines, <clears throat> wolverines are kind of like 
small angry dogs are really hairy and they can uh, be predatory. Uh, doll sheep. Well, so this is a sheep that is okay being in the extreme cold temperatures. This is a seal. Uh, seals don't mind the cold. They have a thick furry skin that protects them from the cold water. Narwhals have, they're kind of like a whale with a long pointy nose. Kind of like they have a, sort of like a unicorn horn, but it's on their nose. Whale, this is a killer whale. Uh, also known as an orca. Um, although technically they aren't whales, technically they're dolphin, a type of dolphin. <clears throat> walrus. Uh, walruses are kind of like a seal, but they're a lot bigger and they have tusks. But they kind of look like seals. They're just a bigger version of a seal with tusks. It's a walrus. It's a fox and a puffin. A puffin is a little bit like a penguin but they can fly. They're black and white like a penguin but they have a colored beak and they can fly whereas penguins can't fly. Ox. Um, they're a big hairy uh, animal almost like a bison or a really hairy cow with horns. But this is called an ox. And a polar bear. And polar bears are white. <clears throat> they actually aren't technically white. Their fur is actually see-through. But all of it together makes it look like they're white. Their fur is translucent, which means you can see through it. And it conducts, uh, it works with the sunlight to keep them warm. That's just a little interesting information about polar bears. <clears throat> Back at home. So these are things inside your house. He's got a toy truck. She's got a baby doll. That's a picture frame. A telephone that you talk to, although not many people have that type of phone anymore. Most people just use their cell phones these days. That looks like an iPad. Most of you probably know what that is. A lamp. You can turn on the light and the lamp to get light. Mirror you look at uh, to see yourself in the reflection. Mirror. Hairbrush, you used to fix your hair, brush your hair. Pillow, it's a soft fluffy thing you put your head on at night. The bed is the thing you sleep in at night. Plant, maybe you have a house plant. A chair that you sit in. Television that you watch. A fireplace that keeps you warm. An oven that you cook in, a frying pan that you cook in on top of the stove, a bowl of fruit that's healthy for you, a vase to put your flowers in, and a refrigerator to keep your food cold so it doesn't spoil. Okay, this is our last one, and we're finished. We learned about all kinds of things. This is a gymnasium. So we've got all kinds of sports. A gymnast. A gymnast does things at the gym, um, uh, like uh, balance beams or the rings. Uh, they flip around on the floor and do acrobatics, back end springs and 
things like that. Coaches teach gymnasts how to do the things that they do. This is a golfer. He's playing golf right here. He's got a golf club and he's playing golf. He hit a golf ball. You don't usually stand on alligators' heads while you're hitting a golf ball. I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, swimmer. <laughs> this shark is being a swimmer, but um, I wouldn't swim with sharks. I would not suggest that either. <laughs> Uh, this is a track runner, so he runs races. It's another runner. Basketball player, plays basketball. This is a tennis player. Uh, they have rackets and they hit a ball back and forth over a net right here. Tennis player. Soccer player. Kicks soccer balls, so you don't supposed to use your hands in soccer. You, you've got this little black and white ball, and you just kick it back and forth and try to kick it into the goal. Uh, baseball player hit the ball with a bat, and they run bases. Football players catch footballs, and they try and run them from one side of the field to the other without getting tackled. Hockey players play on ice. Well, they're in an ice rink. Um, they try and hit hockey pucks into the net. You got ice skaters who just have fun skating on the ice. And bicyclists. We've seen him a few times riding his bike. And that's everything. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed doing this search and find vocabulary builder. And when you're at home, just look around your house or if you're outside, look around at different objects and um, just name what they are. And before you know it, you'll have a great English vocabulary. And once you have built up a very good spoken language then you can move on to connecting that language to letters and words. So we want to build up a vocabulary, a very strong spoken vocabulary, and be able to manipulate sounds and then you want to move on to connecting those sounds to letters and turning those sounds and letters into words and then after that you'll start reading. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.